Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this home decor DIY. We're going to be using first of all some polymer clay. I'm using random colors like leftover polymer clay colors that I had because we're going to be painting the project anyways. But I'm going to first roll it into a shape like this and then I'm just going to be cutting that in three parts like as equal as you can get them to be. Once you have done that, you're just going to grab each one and you're going to grab it into a bowl a lime size polymer clay shape and then once we have done that we're just going to kind of like push them a bit so they create a surface where you can like place them standing up and so that is going to help then I'm just going to grab my finger and I'm just going to make a hole in there once I have done that I'm just going to be taking a brush and I'm just going to be using the back of that and I'm just going to go farther with that hole that I created Once we have done that, we're just going to take some toothpicks and we're just going to cut them. I'm just going to be using some pliers, you can use some scissors as well. And I'm just going to cut each um, toothpick, it pretty much depends on like the size you want to go for. I'm just going to place them in there. So this makes a hole before we bake our clay. I'm just going to remove my toothpicks and I'm just going to bake them. While those are baking, I'm going to be taking some green acrylic paint and a brush. And I'm just going to paint my toothpicks and I'm just going to let them dry. I'm just going to be using some white acrylic paint and another brush and I'm just going to paint my figures which are now baked and cold. They are usually hot once you take them out of the oven. Just by one coat of this white acrylic paint. The reason why I'm using white is because I want to create a base for my next color which is the red one to be super vibrant and to really pop on top of my white. You want to make sure your white is completely dry before you go ahead and apply your red. Otherwise, this will turn into a pink color and it's not going to be red. I did two coats of that one and then I'm going to be using some epoxy glue. Really important, do not use hot glue guns because it's not going to work. I've tried that and it fails every single time. I'm just going to glue my toothpick to like kind of like the hole in there that I made before. Then I'm going to be taking some glass jars with leads. And this I buy with food inside at Costco. I like these jars because they are super huge and you can store a lot of things in this. You can use mason jars as well. I'm going to be working with the leads. I'm just going to remove it. And I'm going to be painting some in white and others in black. I did two blacks and one white. If you want to go for like all of them black or all of them white, it's pretty much to you. Once that's done, I'm going to be taking a pen and I'm using in the back of this. And I'm going to add some random dots here and there. The reason I'm using a pen and not like the back of a brush is because the back of a brush is gonna give me smaller dots and I wanted to go for like bigger and kind of like more obvious dots. So that's what I'm doing here. Once that's dry, we're just going to be taking the epoxy glue again. We're just going to glue the whole thing together until it's stuck. I left it for about 24 hours until I was like completely sure it was sealed. As a final step, I'm going to be applying some uh, spray cleaner finish. And yeah, I'm just going to cover the whole thing, giving this a few coats. Sorry for the background and the, actually the place that I shows my washing machine, but yeah, sorry about that, I just want to mention that it looks super dirty, but it's not, it actually is textured, this one. This is how I'm grabbing the whole thing, and then I'm just going to let it dry. Once it's done and dry and the whole thing is ready, I'm just going to grab my jars and I'm just going to fill them with, you know, bars, candy, and then it's time to seal or close in those jars. This is pretty much all I wanted to share. They look really, really cute. And camera is not picking like the full cuteness of it. Still, I just want to share with you this idea. Hopefully you like this. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I actually have a home decor DIY playlist on my channel. You go check it out and share it so more people can watch it. This is so much fun and it looks super cute in the kitchen. It adds something really cute and unique because of the dots and the cherries. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.